Coming up, bringing movies back to Chillicothe. A visit with Joey Manna. Introducing Mike's Heart Lemonade Seltzer with 100 calories and 1 gram of sugar. Nobody makes lemonade like Mike's. Our guest today is Joey Manna. He is a local entrepreneur, also a longtime uh, affiliation with uh, Civic Theater here in the community. Not only with uh, Chillicothe Civic Theater, but uh, Paper City. Yeah, Paper City Players is the other one. Um, so we're, we're joining with them to do a production of The Great Gatsby for a fundraiser for our Paper City Cinemas idea. Um, the reason for that is whenever people ask me questions, well, you're doing a play, but you're also trying to open a movie theater. And the best part about fundraising is trying to get as many people in the community involved as possible. And showcasing local talent and local art is a huge part of that project. Some of uh, what you've already alluded to is wanting to bring back a, a movie theater uh, that would have other functions, but uh, be able to show uh, classic movies, maybe first-run movies, uh, it's already been out in the public that you have been looking at Danbury as well as a location in Central Center, but you mentioned micro theaters. Talk yeah. about that. So micro cinemas, I've done a lot of research on the last few months, and they're very popular in smaller suburbs, especially around New York. And what they are, they allow a more intimate experience when you go watch a movie. They seat about 20, 25 people. You can rent them out for events, parties. You can even rent them out and bring your own DVD and just enjoy it with your friends. Uh, there's a few locations downtown I'm looking at. One I want to make more adult friendly, um, have a rooftop access. There's a location I'm looking at for that. It'll be um, like an outside bar situation. You can watch movies there. Businesses can rent it out for events. And another location, it's like an extension of a party room almost for children. Um, you can rent it out for birthday parties. Kids can go watch, uh, play games, watch movies. And it's just a great idea to bring businesses like that downtown with so many local businesses already booming in that location and people already reaching out currently wanting to be a part of those projects as I've been reaching out to them. Now, if you start with the, uh, the micro theaters and then something did open up with a bigger facility, would you continue the micro idea with the bigger theaters? Yeah, absolutely. So what we want to do is we want to start with the two smaller locations, get those up running and operational, especially in this post-pandemic world we're living in. People not really sure what they want to do, where to go. And the whole time we'll be showing movies all summer in various locations and pop-up screens all the way until October until it gets too cold to show movies outside. And then we want to keep those locations open while we migrate into a bigger facility. That way we can show five or six screens of movies. I, I know you've seen this. Uh, I think it started actually in Europe uh, when the pandemic first you know, took off, but then some uh, locations here in the United States kind of picked up on the idea, which is basically an American idea to start with, and that's the drive-in movie. Do you ever see those coming back? Yeah, so drive-in location is still number two on our list besides opening up hmm. the actual cinema. We want to build a drive-in in this town, and there's so many great spots to do it, and we know it'll be so heavily received because of the messages I've gotten in the comments about all of that. So other than the... Um, the stage plays that you're doing to try to raise funds. What are some other ways that you're trying to generate uh, some monies to make this dream possible? Yeah, absolutely. So we have um, a GoFundMe account set up, and we also have a Kickstarter campaign. Both of those have a tier system of rewards. If you donate a certain amount, you get tickets, free popcorn. There's even um, a spot for businesses. If they donate a certain amount, they can name one of the theater houses that we'll have. So if they donate a certain amount on whenever you go to our Kickstarter, you'll have the, the business's plaque right ahead, right above the theater. And then you'll also be able to get uh, lifetime tickets as a part of that package. We have so many tiers there. And the, I think our most popular tier right now is the dollar popcorn. Hmm. And you can use that tier for any of our events, even if it's not the theater. If it's our plays, if it's our musicals, if it's uh, the pop-up movies, you can bring whatever voucher I send you after you get that donation, send that donation in. And you can, you can redeem in any of our events that we have, even before we open the actual cinemas. You had Dan Ramey at Popcorn. <laughs> I bet I did. I bet <laughs> I did. He said, movie, what's that? Yeah, yep. just give me the popcorn. Yep. Um, I guess the, the, the other question that comes in, uh, you know, great job, family man. Why do you want to get into this headache? Because any new venture has a lot of headaches that go along with it. Yeah, so this it started off um, a few years ago, and I was just like, my passion has always been film. I studied film at Ohio State. I had a great film professor at OUC. Um, my, my passion has always been movies. I've been in performing arts for 22 years. I've, my passion has always been about just allowing people to experience something else other than just the normal lives. They can go somewhere and just escape into somebody else's dream for a few hours. Mm -hmm. And so I started looking at this, the Central Center location about two years ago, and then I was diagnosed with cancer. 
in August, they removed it. And afterwards, I just was focused on recovering. But I started getting so many messages in January from people like, hey, your initial post, what's going on with that? Are you still interested? So then I started getting the, the balls rolling again. And everything just started picking up momentum. And I, it's just something I'm passionate about. I've been at Apple for eight years now. And I'm, I have a great life at Apple. And I, and I love being there. But my passion is the theater. My passion is movies. And my passion is this community. And I want to build something for the community, just not for movies, but a community center. I just want a space where the community can come together, be as one, and showcasing all the talents because we are a talented community. I mean, I've been, I've been here my whole life, and some of the talent here is just amazing. So if someone watching says, how can I help? Um, PaverCityCinemas.com is, is where you want to go. Um, we have all of our fundraisers on there. Or reach out to me directly at Joey at PaverCityCinemas.com. I check my email about 72 times a day. So I love movies, and uh, I'm hoping this is a great success. I hope so, too. Joey Manna, if you would like to help out, follow the information that Joey gave earlier to see what you can do to bring the movies back to Chillicothe in Ross County.